Today I am going to show you how you can make this kind of uh, logo, bouncy letters um, thing and uh, we are going to use the soft body physics in uh, Blender. I've been uh, a little bit obsessed lately with this uh, soft body so let's jump into it. Yeah, we got a cube right here. Uh, who would have thought? Um, what we'll do is we'll create a letter out of this one. So what letter do we want? Uh, let's go into X-ray mode so that when we are uh, selecting, we are selecting also the vertexes behind. So let's make an L uh, real easy. So I think I will actually go to face select mode and select the top face and do a, an extrude. Uh, how many meters do we want? Maybe four meters up and two meters out. I am not sure about um, two meters. That's an L, maybe 2.5. Yep, this is an L, the letter L. Let's move on. So what we'll need to do next is to add some geometry because uh, there is uh, too little, um, too little uh, vertexes. So what we'll do is just press subdivide, subdivide. And we also need to tune it a little bit more. Uh, so I will add, um, firstly, we can actually add the, the soft body. We'll get back to these uh, um, later, but uh, we'll add a soft body here. So we will have this in the modifiers. And then after we will do a subdivision modifier. Uh, let's just pump this up. Um, what the subdivision does is to make our edges round. So what we'll, we'll want to do is to add a loop cut here. Let's do minus 0.9. So we'll get it uh, a crisp edge. Uh, we'll also add one here. What 0.9 will do. We want to have them crisp uh, and also here point minus 0.9 uh, these numbers um, I will show you where you can find those but um, you see here I am moving and up here you can see how much so it's either minus one or one so I'm doing now uh, I want to go to the left and I see that it's minus before the number so I just press minus 0.9 I want it uh, pretty close. It doesn't really matter how close and how even. It's hard to do even when it's uh, only 0 to 1. Um, but we'll make it work. Uh, what else? Uh, you can see the geometry here where we need them. We'll do minus 0.9 here and also at the bottom. You can also uh, uh, don't do this if you want this. Uh, kind of curvy look, but I, I like it a little bit more uh, straight and uh, sharp edges. So I will do this. Now we got some geometry. I think this, uh, oh, here you can see we missed an edge. So we'll go back and do, do that. Minus 0.9. Um, yes, we got a nice letter L here. So we got some geometry. Uh, I think that's enough. We we do have to experiment a little bit uh, after a while to see what works. Um, so let's try to make this bounce. So we'll add a plane. And this plane we will have to add a collision so that we can drop this down on the plane and it will collide and bounce off it. Uh, let's move the L a little bit up and I would like to rotate something like this so we get a little bit more funny bounce uh, maybe we can rotate it around the Y but let's try this first and see how long it takes I'm, I'm a little bit uh, uh, excited about that where did I press okay let's try again and see how the modifiers are okay soft body uh, what we'll do here is we'll this um, this uh, goal we don't need uh, edges we need and mass I 
I'm using now some, some settings that I usually use. I press speed 1.4 and, and I actually wanted to show you something from the, the manual because there is some, some notes there. If you render with 25 frames per second, you will have to set speed to 1.3. Uh, so I'm not sure why the default speed is one. Um, usually we do 24 frames. Uh, that's, that's the most usual frame rate. So I set this to 1.4 and I think that looks, looks pretty good when you render it out. If, yeah, edges, self collision, we will, we will um, uh, enable and also stiffness. These values, you can have a look in the manual, but now I am using the, the regular values that I usually use. Uh, I like how the, the bounces and the, the characteristics of the soft body when these settings are like this. Um, we'll go into cache. Just jumping in here to, to stop myself for, from making a mistake. Um, before you press bake, you want to press the disk cache. And this option was not available. And you need to save the file before you can use disk cache. So let's try that again. And uh, I think we can do 120 frames. Uh, for this simulation and let's press bake all dynamics this will take some time uh, to do so uh, yeah uh, and the more geometry you have the the longer it takes and this uh, the the animation i showed you at the start took way too long so so i stopped it at like 70 percent because it have been my computer i've been running all night and uh, yeah I wanted to let the computer rest a bit so so I stopped it so it's 120 frames or something but it works out but um, yeah please let me know if you have any uh, any trick to actually speed this up anyway or some some yeah some tricks and uh, now it's done let's check how what it looks like Boink, boink, boink. Yeah, it's pretty stiff. You can, of course, of course tr uh, tweak this as you want. But uh, yeah, I think this this uh, <laughs> yeah looks pretty good. Maybe we could have uh, had a little bit more geometry here to 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 make it a little bit more um, flexible because you can kind of see. Sorry, you can kind of see this this line here and the sheets of body that we have but yeah for the purpose of this tutorial we don't have to go more into detail on that and um, let's add a camera so that we can um, shade this and also uh, make an animation uh, what I like to do is just add a camera and go to align view, align active camera to view and we'll do G Y and we'll move it to the middle. This plane here, we want to make a back drop. So press E to extrude it and set and we'll go there. Press two to have edge select mode, control B and Roll your mouse till you get some something that looks like this and shade smooth. Now we'll go here and we'll step into the shader. We'll pick another frame like this before it's dropped and we'll go into the shader editor. New and rendered view. And it's all purple because I <laughs> preset uh, with the, the world setting here. So uh, yeah, pick an HDR, HDRI that you like. Uh, do I have it? Mm, no, I need to find the HDRI then. Sorry for this. Uh, it won't take too long. HDRI. And I have one that called Photo Studio 01 4K. 
that I almost use for anything because uh, I love it. Uh, you can get that on HDRI Haven, I believe. And uh, go back to the object. So this is the plane first. Uh, I like to use this um, uh, Adobe color and find some colors that I like. Uh, and this yellow I think is amazing for this kind of logo, uh, modern type of uh, commercial thing. You know, white letter is also, if you want some contrast with the colors, you can do that. But I think yellow on yellow or yellow on orange looks pretty good here. So let's just do like this. I want to actually make it a little bit more, uh, maybe point one shiny. Um, and this a little bit more off. But here we have a scene. We have an animation that we can use. Uh, the last thing I wanted to do is to just play it. So we need to get back to the timeline and let's see. I will uh, uh, render this out and show the animation at the end to show you how, how it looks like. So thank you for watching and I hope you learned something today. And Please drop me a comment if you know how to do this, uh, this baking faster because it kills my computer. Okay, uh, thank you. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.